This is the San Antonio International Airport with the airport code SAT Travel Guide. San Antonio International Airport, located in San Antonio, Texas, is located about eight miles of downtown San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio International Airport has two terminals, A and B. SAT currently flies nonstop to 53 destinations in the United States and Mexico. Keep watching this video for more helpful information. Like this video and write a comment. We really want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. Welcome to HipVig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is the San Antonio, Texas Travel Guide series. This episode is the San Antonio International Airport with the airport code SAT Travel Guide for arriving passengers. We flew from Seattle to San Antonio, Texas in February. You can still see the snow on the ground from the airplane. As stated earlier, San Antonio International Airport has two terminals. Terminal A with gates A1 through A17 is currently served by Alaska Airlines, Interjet, Delta Airlines, Frontier, Aeromexico, Polaris, Sun Country, Southwest, Allegiant Air, and Viva Aerobus. Terminal A has uh, three levels. The ground level leads to the parking garages. The second level uh, is where arrivals is and also customs and immigration are located as well as badge claim and information booths. The third level is the departure level where ticketing and departure uh, level ticket counters for airlines are located. There's also a children's play area on this level. We disembarked our plane in Terminal A. Once we got into Terminal A, we followed the signs for baggage claim and ground transportation. In Terminal B, the second level with gates B1 to B8 is currently served by American United Airlines. At this level, there is the baggage claim and information booths as well. You'll also find a chapel at this level. The third level is the departure level and the fourth level is the mezzanine level. Passengers can walk between the two terminals via a covered walkway. We continued to follow the signs and exited the security area and then went down to baggage claim. In the baggage claim area, there are also two information booths, occasionally staffed by volunteers if you need help. International arrivals will arrive at this level near Carousel 1. There's also a hotel kiosk with a courtesy phone available in the baggage claim area for passengers to call their hotel for a shuttle service. After retrieving our bags, we follow the signs to the ground uh, transportation area so that we can check it out. Right outside the terminal curbside are private car pickups by friends and family. To get a taxi or an app-based uh, rideshare uh, car or any other commercial um, transport, ground transportation, please go and walk across the street to the uh, ground transportation island. Taxis are available at the transportation island um, on the left-hand side outside of Terminal A. If you need help, look for the airport ground transportation employee that's um, sitting at the kiosk.
fares from the airport to downtown San Antonio um, start around $30 and up. The rideshare app pickup area for Uber, Lyft, and Wings is on the right side of the transportation island. Directional signs are clearly marked. The most economical transport option is, of course, the public bus. The Via Metropolitan Transport um, Agency offers to get to downtown from the airport via their bus, and it's located at the bus stop is located at the far west end of Terminal B, and it's clearly marked on the column. You will board bus route number five, which operates every day and can uh, get you to downtown San Antonio in about 30 minutes for only a dollar 30 one way. For more details on the bus route and fares, please visit www.viainfo.net. We had a rental car, so we walked to the Consolidated Car Rental Center, which is located across the street from Terminal B. We followed the signs for the rental car center and walked from Terminal A to Terminal B and took the escalator up to the mezzanine level which is the top level. By the way, in the San Antonio International Airport, there are several machines which will do um, some currency exchange. There's also Marcy's Business Travel Center located in Terminal A in the lobby. Once in Terminal B, we continued to follow the signs for the rental car center, and then we crossed the sky bridge to the parking of the garage, which is located across the street from Terminal B. From the sky bridge, you can see all the available ground transportation options and their pickup areas in, in the San Antonio International Airport. The rental car center is actually quite large and roomy and it looks like it's uh, pretty new. Once we filled out all our paperwork, off we went into the parking garage to find our car. You can see how big this rental facility is based on uh, the pictures here. As some of you know, I'm a big history buff, so I was really excited to explore uh, San Antonio's historical sites. So off we went once we got our car. San Antonio International uh, Airport is a moderately sized airport that offers uh, passenger amenities including um, ATM machines, currency exchange, Wi-Fi, battery charging, luggage carts, lactation rooms, animal relief areas, and of course people to help you if you need it. I look uh, forward to my next visit to San Antonio International Airport. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.